Today we're going over the top 10 best Detroit suburbs to buy a home right now. What makes these the best places to buy a house is the crazy amount of value the homes in these cities have gained year after year after year after year. The number one city in this list has had values jump over 40% in the past five years. Tell me that's not crazy. Can you imagine not buying a house a few years ago and seeing homes sell for 40% more? You'd be saltier than soy sauce. So we're counting them down 10 to one and I'll tell you where they're at, how much the value has gone up and why I think that people are shelling out so much cash to live there. Now, before we start, if you have any opinions on this list, pop them in the comments so we can discuss. The comment section of my videos gets pretty heated, especially when I talk about cities. And if you'd like to make a move in the next three days or three years to any of these places, I've got contact information in the description below. All right, so coming in at number 10 is Birmingham, Michigan. Beeham. So Birmingham is located about 19 miles northwest of Detroit, and it's a straight shot down Woodward or I-75. It's on the Woodward Corridor. Everybody loves the cities on the Woodward Corridor. Drive time is about 25 or 30 minutes to downtown Detroit, so you know, it's not too far away. So the typical home value in Birmingham is $661,000, and it's had a one-year price change of $37,000, or a 5.9% price change. Now, the five-year price change in Birmingham, $154,858. That's a 30.6% price change. That's, that's a huge, that's a huge number for it to go up. Now, people love Birmingham because of its amazingly walkable downtown. That's one of the main reasons people love it so much. It's easily in my top five downtowns anywhere in the Metro Detroit area. It's packed with a ton of upscale shopping and dining. And the other thing that Birmingham has is a ridiculous number of parks. 26 parks in this little city. So just about every neighborhood in Birmingham has some city maintained green space. And you're gonna need it if you live in Birmingham because the lot sizes are pretty small. But again, it makes it makes up for it because you've got a lot of sidewalks and a ton of parks. Coming in at number nine is Huntington Woods, Michigan. Now Huntington Woods is located about 14 miles north of Detroit and just west of Royal Oak. So it's another city in the Woodward Corridor. On the Woodward Corridor? in, on. So it's only about a 20 or 25 minute drive from downtown Detroit, so it's not bad at all if you have to commute there. Typical home value in Huntington Woods is $493,691. Over the past one year, prices have gone up $23,201. It's a 4.9% increase. And over five years, $115,000. 914, so that's a 30.7% increase. So a little bit more than Birmingham. Still, what up? It's a lot. One of the reasons people love Huntington Woods is it's home to the Detroit Zoo. Weird, it's the Detroit Zoo, but it's actually in Huntington Woods and Royal Oak. And it's known as the City of Homes. It should be called the City of Homes and the Zoo. So again, you've got a lot of tree-lined streets, beautiful neighborhoods, that's why people love it. But I will say, it is not easy to find and buy a house in Huntington Woods. They just don't go up on the market very often. So you have to have like eagle eye looking for them all the time. Hire somebody who's gonna look for them for you. Like me, it's another shameless plug. Coming in at number eight on our list is Rochester, Michigan. So Rochester is located about 26 miles northeast of Detroit, and it's a little bit further than the other places on this list, but it's still pretty connected to the metro area. So the 26 mile drive to downtown Detroit will only take you about 35 minutes. So that's one big advantage of living in the metro Detroit area is things don't take very long to get anywhere, even when we have bad traffic. No people are gonna leave me comments. I don't care. It does not compare to places like California. California's nuts. We're not that bad. Now the typical home value in Rochester is $463,922. And over the past one year, it has gone up $23,022. And that's a 5.2% change. Now over the past five years, it's gone up 32.8%. That's a price increase on the average house of $114,497. Whew. Now there's a lot of things that people love about Rochester, but one of the main things that I think everybody knows Rochester for is the annual Christmas event called the Big Bright Light Show because they've got a lot of big bright lights. All of the businesses in downtown light up their storefronts with these crazy lights. It's like Las Vegas, but in Rochester, Michigan. It's 
nuts. Even if you live in another city, you should at least check it out once in your life. It's like every time I talk about Rochester, people say, oh, the city with all the lights. Yes, it's the place with all the lights. It has a lot of other things going for it too. Good schools, nice houses, good prices. Coming in at number seven on our list is Beverly Hills, Michigan. Sounds so fancy. Beverly Hills is located about 18 miles northwest of Detroit. So it'll only take you about 25 or 30 minutes to get to downtown Detroit if you need to get there. Now your typical home value in Beverly Hills is 530,590. And over the past one year, they've gone up over $25,000. It's a price increase of 5%. And over the past five years, 35.5% increase. That's 138,958. You're doing the math which I am, I did it for you. You don't have to do it. Numbers should be on the screen. Now, what people love about this city is despite the fancy schmancy Hollywood name, this is a tiny family friendly suburb. Got excellent schools. It's got just an all around amazing reputation. It's actually technically not even a city, it's a village. So if you move here, you will be a villager. Coming in at number six on our list, one of the biggest cities in all of Oakland County, Michigan, Troy. Michigan. It's located about 21 miles north of Detroit, and you can just take I-75 to get there. And it's an easy 30-minute commute. Super easy. Just jump on, jump off, you're done. Typical home value in Troy is $432,000 and some change. And over the past one year, prices have shot up 6.4%, a little over $26,000. And over the past five years, they've gone up 36.3%. That's over $115,000 on the average house over the past five years. Again, this is wild. All of these are wild. Now, Troy does not have a cool downtown like Birmingham and a lot of the other places that I love so much, but it is home to the Somerset Collection, one of the fanciest shopping malls in all of the state of Michigan. They have high-end stores like Louis Vuitton, Gucci, and Balenciaga. So if you're fancy, that's where you're going. But don't let all those stores scare you. The home prices in Troy are all over the map, literally all over the map. You can buy a house in Troy for 200,000 or in the millions. They've got it all, kind of like a mall. The other thing that people love about Troy, aside from all the housing, are the schools. The Troy School District makes just about every top 10 list that you could possibly find for the state of Michigan. Just Google best schools in Michigan and I promise you, Troy will be on that list. All right, now we're down to the top five. Coming in at number five is New Hudson, Michigan. This one's a little bit out there, I will say. It's about 35 miles northwest of Detroit. It's a bit further than a lot of the other ones on this list, but it's still only about a 35, 40 minute drive to downtown Detroit if you gotta get there. Typical home value in New Hudson is 432,000-ish. And over the past one year, prices have shot up 5.8%, nearly 6% in one year year. That's an increase of over $23,000. So if you bought a house last year, it's worth a lot more. The five-year price change is 37.3, so a little over $117,000. The thing that people really love about the new Hudson location is it has more of a rural feel to it. So you feel like you're out there, but you're still pretty close to, you know, life. That's what new Hudson is really known for, blending that rural landscape with small town living. And it's one of the only places in Metro Detroit that I know of that has golf courses, a brewery, and a winery, all in Metro Detroit. Coming in at number four on our list is Franklin, Michigan, AKA the town that time forgot. It's actually known as the town that time forgot. It seems like a crazy name. I guess if you just don't want anyone to really know about it, that's what you name it. This place is about 22 miles northwest of Detroit and only 30 minute drive from Detroit. If you blink, you will miss driving through this city, literally. It's only 2.66 square miles total. This is tiny. The typical home value in Franklin is almost $810,000. So it's not cheap to live there. And over the past one year, prices have gone up 3.4%. That's an increase of a little over $26,000 in one year. Over the past five years, prices here have gone up 37.5%. That's more than $221,000 over the past five years. Now, when you visit Franklin, it feels like you're stepping back in time. It has a historical little downtown with vintage gas lanterns. And I've said this in other videos before, but if you look at it on a, on a satellite, there are a lot of tennis courts here. So a lot of backyards with pools and tennis courts. Franklin's also home to a couple billionaires, including billionaire 
Dan Gilbert, the guy who seems to be on a solo mission to save the city of Detroit, lives in Franklin, Michigan. I'm willing to bet he has a tennis court. Just about everybody here does. All right, coming in at number three on our list is Lake Angeles, Michigan. This teeny tiny city is located about 32 miles northeast of Detroit, and it's not exactly a straight shot. Anytime you get a lake involved in anything, it's going to be a little bit harder to get to. You know, little twists and turns, you drive around subdivisions and neighborhoods just to get to it. So if you have to commute to downtown Detroit, it'll take you about 40 or 45 minutes to get there. But everyone who lives in Lake Angeles loves it. Loves it, loves it. Now, the typical home value here, are you ready for this? I hope you're sitting down. $1,626,000 thousand dollars is the typical home value here and over the past one year prices have gone up 1.9 percent it doesn't seem like a lot but that's nearly thirty thousand dollars in one year and over the past five years prices have gone up 39.5 percent that's four hundred and sixty thousand dollars in the past five years anyone who bought there a good investment. Lake Angeles only has a few hundred residents and it's all centered around this beautiful private lake that does not allow any public access. So if you've got a big budget and you want to live on a private lake near Detroit, this is going to be the spot for you. All right, coming in at number two on our list is Bloomfield Hills, Michigan. Another one on the Woodward Corridor. So Bloomfield Hills is located about 22 miles northwest of Detroit and only about a 30 or 35 minute drive from downtown Detroit. Another one that's not cheap, the typical home value here is a little over $611,000. Now, these are not the average list price on houses. This is the average home value. And over the past one year, prices have gone up 5% flat. That's over $29,000 in the past one year. And over the past five years, we've now broken the 40 mark, 40.1%. That's $175,000 over the past five years. Wild, right? Absolutely wild. Now, if there's one place on this list that feels super expensive as you're driving through, it's this city. Bloomfield Hills is that city. The estate-like homes and rolling hills give it a real old money feel. Like Scrooge McDuck would definitely live in Bloomfield Hills, I feel like. Bloomfield Hills is also home to the Cranbrook Educational Community. It's an education, research, and public museum complex and a historic national landmark that includes a prestigious private school, art museum, and a science institute. And now for the number one spot, the Detroit suburb where values have gone up 41.7% in the past five years with an average price jump of over $130,000. Rochester Hills, Michigan. Now Rochester Hills, Michigan is about 25 miles northeast of Detroit and the home values here are about $443,000, but they've shot up 6.1% in the past one year, that's over $25,000. And again, over the past five years, 41.7%, which is absolutely wild. People love that you're in the suburbs here, but there's a ton of nature around you. So it's got like the suburban charm and the proximity to nature. It's like perfect mix. Now, I don't know if you know this, but I love mega mansions and Rochester Hills is home to the Mac daddy of them all. Meadowbrook Hall, a historic 88,000 square foot mega mansion built by Matilda Dodge Wilson. Now she was the widow of automotive pioneer John Dodge. Now John Dodge and his brother actually built another massive 33,000 square foot mansion in the city of Detroit for the Archbishop of Detroit and it was recently completely gutted and I shot a full tour of that house and you can check it out here and I'll see you there.